Hope I got them that time. I'll be back in a minute. I'm trying to get the hummingbird. There it is. There it is. Today, you see we got a load and we're going to start getting ready for the project you guys voted for, which is the composting outhouse, which we're going to add more stuff to. And this is just some of the stuff we're taking up there today when we buy Lowe's. We got, good lord, we got a few blocks to level it up with. This is an air compressor I got about a Months month ago. I bought this for Father's Day for my dad this year. And for Father's Day last year, I bought him this miter saw. And we got a bunch of stuff out here that we're going to take up there. And hopefully, none of this stuff comes off of here. It seems like it's heavy enough it'll stay. But we will catch back up with you guys when we get up there. And hopefully, you guys will enjoy us picking out where we want it. I'm going to do a build series, a playlist later of the whole picking out where we're going to put it and the whole build series. So stay tuned for that coming up on this channel. Make sure you subscribe. Oh, the good video was way back there. I had the mountains and stuff. You can see it, it's kind of smoky right now while the wildfire's burning out there in the west. We're getting some rain and stuff over here. I wish we can give some of that rain over to them because they need it. And I know I promised in the last video that we were going to have a crawfish video, but everything went wrong when I tried to film for the crawfish. I mean, it's just, it started raining on me. It started doing, oh, right here, guys, look at that. But it started raining on me. It just it was muddy down there. I even dug up a couple of holes and I was. I didn't get nothing, but I'm going to put that footage in with the footage later that I'm hopefully going to build a trap today for him. I got something up here that I want to try out and see if that works. If it don't, then we've tried. It's not like we ain't trying to do something. We learn from our mistakes, and that's how we get better. So we're going to go ahead and end this part right here and hopefully in today's video you will enjoy the leveling up of the start of this project that you voted on and i hope we enjoy it too it's going to be a good learning experience so i've never really read blueprints i know i got some family members that he, he went to school for architecture yeah, if i can't figure it out I'm pretty sure he can talk me through it. So, I might have to get with him, but it's pretty much self-explanatory with the way it's set up. We'll get more into that later. Well, we made it up here in one piece. We didn't lose anything. Now we gotta get to looking for where we want to put our project. We're gonna look around right quick, show you the ideas that we had, where we wanted to put it, um, where we're thinking about putting it now. But first, we was wanting to put it up here, which is right up this hill. Go up this hill a ways, and I was wanting to put it in that clearing. But as you see, it's really steep right here. And right here in this clearing was where I wanted to put it. And it wasn't that far from the cabin, wouldn't, or from the camper, wouldn't be that far. That's where I wanted to do it first. But I decided against that, instead of putting it up here, I'm thinking about another spot. So, 
we we'll walk down here to this spot where I thought about it the second time. Those hills will wear you out. Make you breathe heavy. Need to cut the grass up here. That'll be next week we'll be doing that. I thought about right here where I filled in this hole. I was thinking about putting it there. But then I got to thinking the water source of ours is right over there. And with you put something like this that close to a water source, you don't want to contaminate with your gray water into your water source. So I thought against that too. I don't know if I'm gonna use put it here. But there is a spot that's kind of level right right about here. So right here next to the lighter knot. So we might put put it right here next to it. Somewhere in this vicinity. I mean there's no other really spot but right here on this hill I wanted to cut it out later and put um, something there so I had plans with that if I put it here it may be in the way see this is the exact same two spots that I was fishing the other day and everything's back they done pushed up new mounds And these over here, they don't push these two up. And there's another one. I was skumped in my last attempt to get crawfish, but I got something planned that I'm gonna I'm gonna win this battle. So we'll reach down here and get this. I need the shovel for leveling up today, but all this. We're gonna have to cut some of it down. Those are 10 foot boards. And I'm gonna cut them down to eight foot to make our uh, floor for it. The, the kit we bought did not come with a floor for it. It came with the plans, but it didn't come with the floor. So at least that's what it said on the paper. I mean, they could have put it in there. I'm not sure. But we'll go ahead and get, I'm gonna put these down right here. And then you said, think about where we could put it. Yeah, right here. Right where? Right here? Right here. Right here in front of the cabin? We'll be able to I mean, move it later, won't we? Yeah, because... Eight by eight, if we got it studied up real good. Yeah, if we sturdy it up real good, we can move it. That's, that's We're always thinking here about what we could do and how we're going to move stuff later. This will just get it built, and this is level right here. I hate to jumble up everything in one spot, but like he said, we're going to move it later and it's not going to be in its permanent spot. And we got to unbox a lot of stuff today too before we get started. So we'll set this over here to the side. Again. Well, that's going to hinder us today with our electricity problem we're having. Let's walk over there and see what's going on with it. It'll stay on for a little bit. See, it's on now. I don't know if you can tell, but it's it's on. But this outlet, for some reason, keeps. knocking back off and it ain't no fault of ours that was a spider see, see right there it's knocked out the only thing I did was touch it 
Yeah, that damn blew up. They don't have a so, bunch of storms up here. Yeah, but with it being storming up here all the time, we've um, done lost a little bit of um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's done run its course. So what I'm thinking, I'm gonna go ahead and I got another one of these in the the camper. I'll go ahead and swap that out, and that way we can use our miter saw and everything today and have power up here so hopefully it's not gonna be like this all day because it makes for an interesting video if we have to keep turning the power on it just so happened that i had this this pack of the three pack in the camper from when we replaced that one so we got two left i'm gonna go ahead and swap them both out today but first things first we got to remember to cut it off i don't want to i don't feel like getting popped today you want to do what you want me to take? I can do this for right now, I guess. Put them in my pocket. Oh, I like to put my disclaimer out there right quick. I am not an electrician. I don't claim to be one. I don't want to play. I'm not playing one on YouTube. I'm just a guy that wants to get power out here so I can build my building. Okay. Well, I wish I had something to hold that up. All right, now both of them should work. So I'm gonna turn the power on, and I'm gonna look over there at the, see that one's, both of them are on, they're not tripped. Now I'm gonna plug in. It is humid out here, guys. I'm gonna plug in this one for the camper, and hopefully it don't do it, hopefully it don't trip out. Whoa. Reset it. Everything's on over there. Now I'm going to reset this one. All right. Both outlets should be doing fine. Now we can put some power in here. That would hook up some water and, and then that'll help see if it's what it is too. Put the water back on. So that solved that problem, hopefully. Hopefully. And then now we can get on to, without further ado, what we're doing today. We've got to set up these all the equipment first and then get started right now it is 80 or 79 degrees and the heat index for the whole weekend is supposed to be over a hundred here so like i said we picked the hottest weekend to do this we didn't know it was going to be this hot but it's got to be done but it don't bother us no it don't bother us yep after we get this put together and get the air compressor out we're gonna go um, cool off then we'll come back and then we'll start building it but it looks like it's gonna storm anytime don't it looks all cloudy out here yeah
Soaking wet or something? That was heavy. We're going to do all the building of the bottom of it today and get the get it all ready. But didn't have a blade for that. Left the blade at the house. We was so excited to get up here and actually start working on it. Left the blade at home, but it's no big deal. We'll come back up here tomorrow and finish up building some of the bottom part. And it'll be two days in that one video instead of a, the whole week. Well, we got to thinking, we got a speed square, and we got this saw right here. It's going to be straight cuts anyway. That would have just been quick for us. Instead of just wasting a day and not doing nothing. So we'll just go ahead and start with, with this. Um, hopefully, with the speed square, my cuts will be true and straight. We got to measure the first one out. Let me get my, my book. This is all the instructions for it we're going to try to get to page 13 today and try to get at least right here in order to do that this morning we went out and bought i'll run you guys through this we bought 12 10 foot 2 by 6 treated uh boards then we bought two four by four by ten treated boards. So then we bought eight cement piers so we can have it as level as we can get it all the way around and to be sturdy. Bought some three-inch nails, some two-inch nails. Got our um, plywood sheets cut. Like a regular sheet is 48 by 96 at three quarters inches. And then we got another one at 44 and a half by 96. So we'll just move on along. Down to the next page. This is a Heartland building. It's their Hamlin 8x8. These are all the tools we're going to need. But today, I think the only tools we're going to need is the saw, our level, and the saw horse. We're using it as a saw horse right now multi-use I guess and we will use the pencil and everything today we'll need a hammer oh we need to open up one more thing yeah, no. now it says the the wood floor frame is not included in this so we got to build this ourselves and this just tells you what it's not included here and this is telling you the optional 
additional spacings here. Originally you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boards here, but we added these right here. Oh, let me, let me see if I count that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we added these one, two, three, four to that. So we want it to be as sturdy as we can get it. So we'll go on our, to our next page here. And this is our parts checklist. We will go through this um, probably in the next, next video. So we will go through all that. And as we're going through, this is some more of the checklist with the wall panels and doors. See, we're already on page six. So I think we can make the 13 today. We're almost halfway through. Okay, here we go. And this is the leveling options. This is what we're gonna be on right now. So we gotta level out everything. But I wanna, we'll, yeah, we'll go to, the, we'll level that out. That'll be part of the next part. Let's see, and that's the concrete. We're not doing concrete. This is the floor frame that we're gonna go by. It says we'll need five treated two by fours by 93 inches. But instead of the two by fours, we're gonna use the two by sixes and we're gonna cut them to two by four by 93. I mean, we're gonna cut it two by six by 93 instead of that. So we'll need five boards cut for that and we'll need two boards cut at 92 and a half. So usually from the store, we don't know how exact true the ends are, so I'm going to take my speed square, I'm going to cut a little bit off the end so I can true it up. Then I'm going to measure it out from where I trued it up to where I want to cut. cut on this side of it. Ouch. Much finer. Now, if I ever holler run, don't run that way. Run back toward the truck. Because Kim would be following. Okay. I would scrap it to the house, but I'm scared that when it comes down, it'll bring the house down too. Bring it down the house. And that's the part I want to save the house. It is humid as all get out. Yeah, we ain't got much shade on it. Yeah, that's why we're doing most of this in the shade. I'm glad we're doing it right here and we can move it later. We'll figure up something to put it on some like wheels or something and move it. Oh, yeah. I 
got to be careful. This one's got knots in it over here. Yeah, you don't want to dirt back on you. That sun went in. And that wind feels a little bit better. Yeah. It's not by much. Oh. I think he jinxed it. Well, yeah, sun back out. Alright, we got all of those boards cut. And just to see, I'm going to check a couple of them, make sure there's no error on my part. 93 on the dot. Now we got to do two at 92 and a half. Alright, now that we got all these cut. It says you want to brace it up. Uh, you can cut some more of these that go through the middle, and you can add four, four more. Oh, man, glitter everywhere! I even got it on my face. But you can add four more of these, which I got over there at the 93, 93 inches. So, but we're gonna put this together first. We're gonna get it squared up, and then we're gonna. Hopefully nail all this together. We got a nail gun in that air compressor, so we're gonna break the air compressor out, get it going, and get this thing kind of nailed up. But we gotta level off where we want it first. With it being said that we're gonna move it later, we're gonna possibly try to take and put it somewhere right and right around here. This probably right over there is best. But it's kind of going downhill right there, and it's more level right here. And with it being more level right here in front of the cabin, and we're going to move it later, I think it might be best to build it right here for now. Because I don't think the chimney's going to come. If the chimney does fall, if it does, before we have a chance to stouten it up, if anything, it's going to go straight back that way. Hopefully. Hopefully. And I don't think it's going to come this way. So, I'm thinking right here, that way we can be close. If we need to take a break, get something to drink. we got this wheel system at the house that we can take and put up under like a 4x4 or um, up under a building. We're going to use it for his and just move it around the homestead. It's like a dolly system. So, we might do that. And... I'm thinking right here would be, be fine. I mean, it may be in the way from in there. We see what time and the temperature, but we got a cell phone. We got stuff like that we can use. So we're going to go ahead and just level this off as best we can. We'll take our piers out right quick. I got four of them right here. There's no really other level spot. Except for right here. And we got the backdrop of the cabin, so. At least y'all get to look at the cabin if you're not interested in what we're building. So. Yeah, if you put a window in it, well, you know, yeah, you know the compost crapper? Yeah. You put a window toward that, you can see what time it is and look at the cabin. And... Heck yeah. I forgot about those things. I was wondering what was poking me in my butt. The staples on it. Oh, that ain't good. No, it's not. I was like, what in the world poking me? I'm gonna grab a hold of my shirt. I'm gonna set these.
So we'll look at this and we'll see that the 92 and a half one goes across the back all the way. And this is from end to end is 96 inches. So we'll go ahead and it's 93 from inseam to inseam. That's how long those boards are, so 93 inches from here to here. Here to here is 93. The whole thing is 96. So we'll put our short boards on the outside and we'll get it leveled up one way, then we'll get it leveled up the other way. As you know on this channel, I'm not afraid to admit my mistakes. We was trying to level all this out yesterday and realized, Dad realized that it's too low to do what we want to do with it, so we got to have it up so we can put the extra stuff on it that we want to put on it. So we went out today and got these extra cinder blocks that we're going to put up under it and raise it up a good bit. Then we can do all our leveling and digging out then. And then we can get a level by that. So I'm not afraid to admit when I was wrong. And then this was just not enough to, what, to do what I needed to do. So we got these six inch ones and we got some four inch blocks that we can use to just lift it up and level everything out the way it's supposed to be. So we'll go ahead and try, we'll go ahead and set all these out first where we think it's going to be and then we'll put our boards back up and go through that whole process again. It's just taking longer than what we thought it would. Need to bring it down on this side over here. All right. Right now we're leveling up our blocks first, so we'll have all them level, so it'll be pretty much right where these are. And after we get these level, putting the other stuff on, it'll be kind of easy. We can just add a block to it or whatever, and we can move. We gotta do that three more times, but I'm gonna save you the dirty bits of doing that. Okay, we just went through and leveled all this out. You can probably see that it's all really wonky. This is our lowest ones over there in that corner. This is gonna be the front of the building. And we gotta put these back on here and we're trying to get the all this leveled out and then we're gonna nail it together and we're gonna find the square. All these are pretty much level. We're gonna take and nail them together on the ends here. It says it calls for three inch nails. So I got my three inch nails here, ring shank. So pretty much not gonna move. Well, well I'm pretty much not gonna come out, but the way I wanted to use these instead of screws, because if you use a screw, when the building settles, if you move one of these, a nail can bend back and forth better than a screw will. A screw will just snap off. So I'm thinking this would be a whole lot better. A lot of people use just these right here. This is the way I got it oriented. My door is going to face out that way. I'm going to measure from that side over there to over here, 24 on center. And I'll measure from 
there at the end over here for the 48 inches I'm gonna measure again to 72 and my final measurement here should be 20 and a half so if I done it right then hopefully it'll come out right There's my 24. Then it says measure the 48. Then it says 72. You know, then I'll measure right to 72. And if it come out right, this should measure to 20 and a half. and a half. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. we got to measure from corner to corner to find our square and that way it'll be kind of where I want it before I nail these boards in. So square should be, let's see what the paper says here. Maybe on the next one. So it should be 133 and 5 sixteenths inches from corner to corner. Five sixteenths. That it? Thanks, so. Let me go back to this one. Got to move one, you gotta go back to the other. That's perfect. Okay. Got my brother back out here to help me. He's gonna hold up these when we hold it on center so we can go ahead and nail these in so we can get the plywood on here today. Or actually, before we put the plywood on, we gotta put uh, some more runners on it, four by four runners. So, always, you know, safety first. I've done this earlier and then it was really loud. So, Knock those together when we get all the rest of them on. Okay. All right, now for the next step, I'm going to re measure my corners just to make sure we didn't get off and. If we're still at 33 and 5 eighths, or I mean 5 sixteenths, if we're still at 33 and 5 sixteenths, 
then we'll be good to go and then we can start putting our 4x4 four four runners on and we'll cut them down to the specifications. 33 and 5 sixteenths. And then we'll measure this one right over here. Daddy grab a hold of that then I'll see if this one's still at 133 and 516. Pretty good for first time builders. I mean, leveling it up, getting this done. Now, all thing we got to do is put our runners on. I'm planning on getting my runners and my floor done today so we can go ahead and start on the project again Monday. Thank God for ratchet straps. Throwing two out. <coughs> this one is the one we had cut 44 by 96, so it's going back here at the back. This one up on here. Right. After we get done with this, we're going to do the adventure mills and see how good they are. We've got two kinds. we got the um, cheeseburger macaroni and we also got, um, is it um, stroganoff? I think so. I think it's beef stroganoff. It's dehydrated meals that you can just add water to, add hot water, let it sit in the bag, and you can eat it. It serves two people. And there's three of us here today. We thought we'd just try it out and see if they're, the adventure meals are worth what you pay for them, what are worth taking out camping. So we're going to do that as soon as we get these on here. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, we need the other nail gun. 
This one's just for um, three inch or longer. So I'm not going to do it by that. I'm just going to do it by hand. So I got my line. I should be all right. I didn't get nobody, did I? No, oh, somebody shoot over that way. Ow! Yeah, it didn't. Ow, you got home on her. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and take this thing off of here because that's not working. That's more louder than a nail gun. Make sure I didn't go off any down there. One in down here. Well, we met our goal today. We made it to page 13. That's what we wanted to do. Now, one thing we do when we come back Monday is level up the floor here, and then we can start building our walls. So we made our goal. I mean, it took us two days to do it because we didn't have the materials yesterday, but at least we made what we wanted to do this Saturday. So, dear Lord, thank you for another wonderful day. I'd like to thank all you guys for tuning in. If you made it this far in the video, I'd like to say thank you. Um, this is a, our first project and we're starting up here on our property. That's what you guys voted on. And I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. It's been, so far it's been fun to build and we're learning new things. And the more we learn on this channel, the better we're gonna get. And hopefully this right here, this composting outhouse will help us later on down the road. The adventure meals turned out pretty good. I would pick the chili mac over the teriyaki chicken any day. I'm gonna have to get a lot more. But tune in to the next build, I mean next video. I don't know. So guys stay tuned for the next video where we go ahead and start building our walls. So we will catch all you guys on the next one. I do thank you all again for subscribing. We got new subscribers. We thank you for subscribing and share the video it really helps give it a like while you're down there and we will catch all you guys on the next video bye